Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to our channel. My name is Lei. I'm a mother of two and we are a family of four on a financial journey and becoming completely debt free where we take you guys step by step and payment by payment along the way. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video and I really hope you enjoy this content and decide to stay. And if you guys are returning, thank you guys so much for your continued support. So our family, we are a zero-based budgeting family, which means that when we budget, we budget every single dollar that we receive. And we are also a budget by paycheck family, which means that every single time that we receive an income, we budget that income as we receive it. Rather than doing like a monthly overview, for us, doing it paycheck by paycheck really helps us focus in on our finances and really helps us evaluate our needs versus our wants. Um, so my husband and I, we both get paid on a bi-weekly schedule, but they're on opposite weeks. So that means our household gets an income coming in every week. And so with you guys, we share our weekly budgets with you guys. And then at the end of the month, we'll be doing our monthly overview recap um, as far as anticipated income versus income that we took home and then expenses versus what the final expenses were and just really giving a breakdown of everything that took place. I am using the papers by Jessica Ann. I did a whole review on this planner on our channel, you guys, if you're interested in it. This is a really big planner, you guys, but it is also your everything planner. This will be your finance planner, your day-to-day -day planner, and your faith planner if you are religious or spiritual like myself. Um, this is the go-to planner for you. Okay, I feel like I got out all of the, all my jitters. It's been like three weeks since I have filmed and I have missed it so much, you guys. But May, May has just been a really crazy month for me and I'm really glad that I took the time to kind of rejuvenate and refresh myself to help avoid burnout. But I am really excited for June um, because it is a three day, it's a three payday month for us. We have my husband's birthday, my mother-in-law's birthday is a lot of fun things are happening. Um, I'm really excited to share budget-wise with you guys. And if you guys are in that same boat, then hopefully it'll give you guys some ideas too. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the June tab. And I'm going to go flip this over. So when you open it up, you do have a section for your monthly budget. So you do have a section right here. Um, I like to do this as it's actually coming in and then using it as an overview at the end of the month. So then in July, if my husband and I, if we need to make any adjustments or changes, this is more of a what happened rather than what's going to happen. I know there's a budget and an actual, but I would rather just wait until the end because we do prefer to budget by paycheck. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this ball rolling. There we go. So this is what the planner looks like when you open it up. It says paycheck planner, the date check. You have all your fixed bills, your debt payments, your variable bills, and your savings, and then your income source. And what I really appreciate about this planner, you guys, is that there's a little note section at the end of each weekly, um, at the end of each paycheck planner. So if there's any events or any reminders, um, most recently, I have just been putting focus on needs versus wants because we are on a debt payoff journey. And so for us, it's really kind of um, getting away that instant no and that instant gratification and really making sure that we focus on the end goal. Okay, so paycheck number one is today, which is the second. And then I'm just going to put PC number one. I know in some of my past videos, some of you guys had wanted to see the actual dates and some of you guys liked that I just labeled it paycheck one, two, three, four, five. Um, so I'll just do a little bit both in June since we're starting it off. For our income this week, we are gonna be working with $805. And We are a cash envelope user family. That means we use physical cash for our variable expenses. Um, it helps us really focus on our budgeting. You'll hear me say it a lot and really being intentional. That is our word for 2023 is really focusing on that intention, intentioning, attentioning, <laughs> being intentional with our budget and our money and not saying no to everything, but just saying no to things that don't really align with our core and our values and our morals. So that is something that we are practicing in 2023. 
Okay, let's get into the budget. <laughs> so for our fixed expenses, you guys, oh my gosh, um, Q2 HOA. You guys, I have the biggest story behind this, which is probably another reason why I really did not want to film in April, I mean, sorry, in May, because everything was just so insane. Um, so we have, if you guys are new to our channel, everything on our bill side is automated. I find it really easy just to transfer the amount that is due um, over to our bill account because our bills don't fluctuate. Well, I had lost my wallet and my wallet had a debit card for the bill account. Now, obviously everything I thought, or I was in the impression, it was everything was ran under my routing and account number, except it wasn't. Our HOA was not, it was connected to the debit card. So when I had called in and reported that my wallet, my wallet was lost or like I had lost the card, they had turned off the card and <laughs> issued a new one. So pretty much our HOA is really, really nice. And they're just like, okay, the one that you miss, we'll just tack it on this month and you'll just pay them together. So that was really nice. But you guys only to find out I had found the wallet. So this is your reminder. If you are forgetful like me, just keep it in the same place because that was probably the most stressful few days of my life of wondering where are all my cards? What is happening? Um, only to have, only to have it. <laughs> have it somewhere around our home so that is what's happening that's why it's so much it's because of last month we had lost the card the card was turned off which means that the payment wasn't able to go through but they were really kind and nice and just said just tack it on um to june but obviously it was due in may so that's why that bill is looking extra big than what it usually looks like okay so that is the only bill that we have to take care of this week don't you guys worry. We have a million and one bills, it feels like. So we will be definitely having a lot more that we are going to be taking care of next week, as well as our debt payments. Okay, so for our variable expenses, like I had mentioned, our family is a cash envelope user family. So we use fiscal cash for our day-to-day -day expenses, gas, groceries, eating out. And these are the ones that we're going to be stuffing this week. So we have gas groceries, household, um, eat out, family fun, and then car maintenance. Okay, so we are a family of four. It's my husband and myself, and then our two children. We have a three and a one-year-old. So this is for one week of variable expenses. So we are a one-vehicle family, so that kind of does help save with gas because obviously you can't go anywhere if the other individual has the car. Um, so we budget $80 a week for gas. We have been coming under with it because we have recently gotten a lot of stuff for our backyard and we are currently redoing our playroom. And so that definitely helps us eliminate that urge to leave the house um, because we have a lot of things to do for the kids here, which was one of the main reasons that we were trying to always find activities to do. But you guys, I am so happy the backyard is finally set up. We have a little splash pad, pool, trampoline, and my husband bought, you guys, my husband bought a bouncy house. So um, it hasn't it hasn't gone in here yet, but I will definitely give you updates when it does get here and if it was worth it. So the next thing that we have is groceries. I'm going to be budgeting $140 for groceries. And that is because in the summer, I like to make a lot of fresher foods. Um, I don't know. Is there something about the warm, hot, sunny days and fresh food? It really just really does help you feel better um, rather than eating hard um more um, hearty foods. So a lot of that's going to require fresh ingredients. And also this is the time I love going to the farmer's market, going to those fresh markets and supporting local. And so I'm just going to go ahead and give myself an extra $40 this week than what I normally budget. So normally I budget $100 a week and it kind of fluctuates depending on what we have in our pantry. Um, but we're going to be doing $140. 
our household budget, you guys, if you guys are new to our channel, our household budget consists of four categories, our son, our daughter, our home, and then our pets. And so what I like to do as a busy mom is I like to rotate things out and I like to delegate the work throughout it. So once a week, I will purchase for that group or person. And what I do is I like to stock up. So for example, let's say it's my son's week and he doesn't need pull-ups. I know for a fact he's good and set, but it's his week, right? So I know he's eventually going to need the pull-ups. So I will just purchase them and put them in the pantry or the garage. And then that way, when he does run out, I just have them readily available. This is a system that I live by ever since having our son. And it has done amazing. It just really helps eliminate that fear of, oh my gosh, are we out of something? Because I'm constantly um, purchasing it when I do my weekly hauls. It also does help that because I do it this way, if there's any deals or anything that's going good, I'm able to take advantage of those deals um, while still staying within budget. Our eating out category is also our coffee category combined into one. Um, so for the next week, that's going to be $45. I know that that sounds like a lot for a week, um, but it's also my coffee budget and I had overextended myself on my workload, we'll just say. So my next few paychecks will be looking good. <laughs> um, the next thing that we have is family fun. And I'm just going to be budgeting $20. I don't anticipate that we're going to spend it this week. But if not, we'll just roll it over. We do have a family trip coming up at the end of 2023. And so if we don't use it during our weekly expenses, we'll just go ahead and apply it there. And the last thing and probably the most important thing we need a budget for is our car maintenance. Our car is needing an oil change. As this being a one vehicle family, it is extremely important that we keep up with all the maintenance on our car. And so I'm just going to go ahead and budget $80. I am praying and I am hoping that I am able to find a coupon so I do not have to spend that full amount. But worst case scenario, if I do, it is all there. So that is going to be um, the remaining 425 and that's gonna leave us a remaining zero. So let's go back and just do a quick recap. Again, you guys, this is a weekly budget and our family gets paid on a weekly basis. So every week, if you guys tune into our channel, you're gonna see a new budget. And then at the end of the month, you guys are gonna be able to see all of our expenses with our monthly overview and how much we actually ended up spending on gas, groceries, eating out using the monthly budget worksheet. I am using it at the end of the month. I know people like to do it at the beginning of the month, but because our income can fluctuate so much versus the expected and not expected, um, I like to do it at the end because with my paychecks, I know how much I'm getting paid before it's actual payday. Um, my husband's paychecks that we do not know until it's actual payday and he receives his pay stub. Um, so that's why every time I do a monthly budget, I'm completely off because that income fluctuates so much. So our first paycheck, we are anticipating bringing in $805 this week. We do have one bill that we have to take care of, which is that HOA for our quarter two and my whole story time of what happened. But you know what? I'm going to give myself grace um, because May, you know, May, May was rough for me. Leaving us our remaining $425. This week, we are only focusing on our variable bills because we get paid next week, and that's going to be the bulk of all of our bills. For gas, we are doing $80, groceries $140, household $60, eating out $45, family fund $20, and car maintenance for an oil change $80. So that is going to be it for this budget with me, you guys. If you guys enjoy budgeting, cash stuffing, plan with me, debt and savings updates, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more content. As always, you guys, if you guys are on a financial journey as well, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to support you and your channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.